So uh, today we'll be checking out the Magento 2 Web AR product image plugin. Now this particular plugin allows you to enable the Web AR images for your web store products. And using the plugin, the admin can upload 3D product images for the online store products. Now for uploading the 3D images, the admin needs to select the 3D model under the Web AR model tab while adding or editing any of the products as required. On the other hand, on the storefront, the customers can view the products in a 3D format and can view each and every side of the product very easily at their comfort level. Now the 3D image that we are going to use is of the uh, .glb file format and it is a 3D file format that's used in the virtual reality, augmented reality games and web applications. So uh, before proceeding further with this particular uh, video tutorial today, uh, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I have this uh, uh, test product created, that's the web AR product image and here we have the product image in the 3D model as you can see. I can touch it up and I can just move the product image as per my own requirement there as required. So you can see that I can move this particular 3D uh, model in any of the directions and we can view this in the augmented reality as you can see. Uh, I can move it in any direction, up, down, sideways, left ways. I can see the top view of this particular uh, 3D model as well. We can see the bottom as well. I can move it as per my own requirement there. As you can see here, I can uh, do it very easily. Now, how to add the uh, 3D model for a product from the admin backend panel? So I'll be showing you that as well. What we can do is we can go to the backend panel. We can go to catalog and then products. We can do this for a newly created, uh, a new product that we're going to create or to an already created product as well. So here's the product that I've just created. That was the web AR product image. The same one that you can see here at the storefront. Now here, what you need to do is you need to go to the uh, product edit page for uh, already created product. Uh, this goes for the newly created product as well. So you'll have one section there. That's the web AR model. Okay. Now under that, we have the AR model type. You need to enable that to the 3D model. You have to choose the AR model file. So you can see that I've chosen the astronaut one. So that's why we can see the astronaut image file at the storefront. So if it's a, it's a product for the kids, uh, uh, like an astronaut is there, they can view this particular product in a 3D view before making a purchase uh, within your store. So uh, this allows the customers to easily with the product before they make a purchase and they can then easily uh, go through the product uh, in all the directions in, uh, in all the directions there and then they can check the 3d model of the product that they are going to purchase so before purchasing they can view it on the product page itself now uh, for the texture file uh, you can upload a texture file for a variant uh, product as well so uh, uh, let me do one thing uh, let me show you how we can add more uh, model files so you can delete a file by choosing delete and then tapping on the save button otherwise if you don't want to uh, delete it you want to just re replace it and automatically delete it we'll choose the AR model uh, file here so uh, right now I'll be choosing one more that's the uh, horse so let's select that up and let me tap here on the save button thereafter now after I've saved this up I can go back to the storefront I can refresh the page and I'll have one more uh, image there uh, for the horse. So I'm just showing you the uh, 3D model uh, uh, usage there, how the 3D models appear on the product page at the storefront itself to the customers. So let's refresh the page. So uh, the 3D model is uh, coming up, is popping up. Now you can see that uh, before I've interacted with this particular model, you can see that automatically it shows that you can move the product model uh, to the left or right. Uh, to check the details of the product itself. So this is a 3D model for a horse. So look how I can move it uh, around anywhere in any direction. I can move the 3D details of this particular product itself. Uh, it's a horse and uh, this is a horse's horse model that we are uh, looking at right now. 
The same goes uh, for any other uh, 3D model that you're going to upload for a product. Uh, so you just need to again go to the web AR model section, uh, choose a file for that. So let's let me choose one more file for uh, the 3D model right now. So it's a brainstem.glb file. Let me save this particular uh, 3D model or the augmented reality 3D model for this particular product. So I'm just showing you these uh, 3D models on the same uh, product. That's the web AR product image that uh, I've already created. And accordingly, you can see the 3D uh, product then on the product page. You can see it's automatic automatically moving right now. If I wish, I can just uh, check the details of this uh, particular horse uh, that uh, if uh, I'm as a customer, if I'm going to make a purchase for this product, then I can particularly with all of the details uh, of this 3D product model itself. Now let's refresh the page once. And now we will be seeing uh, one more uh, 3D model there that I've uploaded uh, for the web AR product image itself. So you can see that this is a 3D model again that I've uploaded. I can view it in all the directions very easily. So as a customer, it gets very easy uh, to check the product before making a purchase. And if it's in the uh, augmented reality 3D model, as you can see, then it's very easy for them to recognize the product before making a purchase. And maybe uh, if you have this kind of a product image, a 3D product image that do in the web AR uh, system there, then uh, there are chances that uh, the customers might uh, go ahead and make a quick purchase of your products there. So uh, that was how we can uh, set up the uh, web AR uh, images 3D models uh, by going to the product edit page or for a new product as well. So now let me show you if uh, we are going to create a new product. Do we have this particular web AR uh, uh, section there or not? So I'll go ahead and I'll uh, choose a simple product from the uh, drop down there. And here on the new, new product page, I'll just scroll down to the section. So here we have the same section that's the web AR model section. So you just need to choose the file. You'll set up the details of your product there. You'll choose your file here and you'll set up the details of your uh, rest of the details of your product there. You'll save the product. Then when you come back to the storefront, you'll be able to see your product uh, on the product page. You can see the uh, web AR product image itself uh, being displayed there and in action itself. Now that was the uh, basically the working of uh, this uh, particular pr uh, plugin that's the Magento 2 web augmented reality product image plugin and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow. Now uh, we do have a small configuration in the admin backend panel for enabling or disabling uh, this particular web AR functionality for your web store products. So uh, let me show you how we can access that. So for that you'll have to log into your admin backend panel and then you'll have to navigate through stores then configuration on the configuration page under the web cool block you'll have to go to the web AR section and uh, here you'll have the general settings and under that you can enable or disable this functionality for your web store product so choosing a yes would enable the uh, web AR product image functionality for your products otherwise to disable it you'll have just to choose a no for that and then you'll have to tap on the save configuration button to save the configuration settings so yes that was much about the uh, plugin itself and i hope it helped you out and if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com raise a ticket at webcool.uds.com you can also contact us through https colon forward slash forward slash www.webcool.com forward slash contacts and lastly if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day